I'm Margaret Mbinya Kasuki, the CEO and the founder of Quasi Suppliers. And this is an initiative that sensitizes people to stop cutting down trees and uh, for firewood and charcoal, but instead embrace biogas, which has uh, the materials are available. I was prompted to start this initiative by the gap that I saw when people are being told to grow trees and stop cutting down trees and yet the larger community depends on trees for firewood and charcoal and when I saw that gap then I decided to come up with this initiative of constructing biogas plants for people so that they can use and this has helped to stop even uh, the labor of young children and women who carry the burden of of, of, of looking for firewood and charcoal, as well as also uh, the risks that are associated when they go to the field of rape and also early pregnancies. It has also helped to eradicate uh, poverty and also uh, anger because people can use the slurry to, to do the farming and they make farm produce and out of those farm produce they can sell and uh, they are provided uh, a lot of plenty of food for eating. Uh, my initiative has impacted over 100 uh, people and the beneficiaries of my initiative are the women and the young children, also the low and the poor income earners. Uh, my success story is that I have uh, helped people to uh, use uh, the slurry and uh, for do farm produce, especially when uh, a plant that is in Kwavonza uh, in Kitui and also another one at Katutu in Kitui. Uh, those people, uh, they are using the, the slurry to do the farm, uh, farming, getting farm produce. And also, like for the low income earners who earn around uh, 200 shillings per day, that person can also do use the biogas instead of using uh, the money to buy charcoal. Uh, yet, uh, that one is making the demand for charcoal to go high and leading to cutting down of trees and leading to encroachment of forested areas for people to get trees. So, it, uh, those who are earning uh, uh, 200 shillings or more or less, at least they have affordable uh, uh, for cooking. Uh, when pandemic came, most of the people were retrenched, others lost uh, businesses, and this has led people to, uh, to have low income or even others do not have income at all. So because they cannot afford the big sizes of, of uh, those go for around 200,000 minimum, I came up with an innovation of smaller ones, uh, of smaller capacity starting from 5 liters and more. At least people now, these ones are affordable and they have no running costs. So uh, that is the initiative that I came up with when the pandemic hit the country. And in the next 5 to 10 years, I see my initiative having saved quite a number of trees because people will have a number a good number of people will have stopped cutting down trees and for firewood and burn, and burning charcoal and they'll be using biogas i also see to have Im improved the economy of the country because people will be using slurry to do farming uh, so they get produce that they can sell and also they will have plenty of food I'll also see um, uh, the country, the level of poverty and anger reducing because there will be food and also people earning money through farming. I deserve to be Azuri alumni because uh, my initiative is touching uh, most on gender, especially the women who uh, carry the burden of looking for firewood and these women the time they, they, they lose while looking for firewood, they can use it to do other constructive uh, activities that uh, also uh, can earn them income. Uh, my initiative is aligned with the uh, International uh, Women's Day, uh, the theme that goes and praise equity through um, uh, one farming because at least women they can use uh, the digested from the uh, digester to do farming and once they do farming they can sell it so this one becomes a resource for them to earn income like any other man who is working out there 
also they can also harvest this gas and sell and um, especially uh, when you go to that uh, to uh, katutu and uh, kwabonza in in kitui you will find that they are using uh, that slurry to do farming and they are earning income from that and that becomes uh, a source of income for them thank you very much for the interview and also for Zuri Awards and uh, for this program. I'm so grateful. Thank you.